Next is a stretcher match. About to make her way to the ring. From Long Island, New York, this is Trinity. For weeks now, we've seen a dark side of Trinity emerge, and I don't think it's a coincidence that it coincided with the return of Desire. Forced to share the spotlight after months of being the top female, Trinity has repeatedly attempted to re-injure Desire, fueling a series of brawls between the two, Don, that were anything but cat fights. And her opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, this is Desire. Accompanied by Sunny Siaki, Don, imagine the frustration of being sidelined for a year after suffering a broken back in the ring, and then after finally gaining your doctor's release to once again compete, you realize that your rival Trinity is determined to put you back on the shelf, back on the injured list by re-breaking your back, and that's the situation facing Desire and her very jealous opponent who immediately jump starts this match and goes to the offensive in Trinity. You know, you said it so right, Mike Tanay. Trinity, from the moment Desire came back, she's focused her attention on one thing, and it's right what she's focusing on right now, the back of Desire. She wants her out, and she knows that's a vulnerable spot for Desire, and you mentioned it, when these two guys go at it, when these two gals go at it, I should say, <laughs> they fight like a couple guys. I mean, it's not a cat fight in any way, shape, or form. It's a brawl. It's a street fight. It's anything. Think of, the, think of the strategy involved in this match, and really it relates directly to the rules of the bout also. You've got to sufficiently weaken. You've got to wear down your opponent, then put her on the stretcher, and then you have to get her and the stretcher out to the ambulance, close the door of the ambulance to win the match. Yeah, this is more about giving your opponent a beating. You're not sitting here trying to, to get a pin or work in something like that. You're out there to do one thing, and that's put that opponent on the stretcher and get him out of there in the ambulance. Had a chance to ask Trinity about her two years in TNA, favorite accomplishment. She said it had to be the man versus woman match with Kid Cash, and that brought back some memories. Oh, I did. I had to say that's my favorite. That's my favorite memory of Trinity also when she went out there and stood toe to toe with Kid Cash, gave him everything he wanted. Oh, the rope spin kick by Desire takes down Trinity. Not exactly sure whether I know much more as we see the stretcher, Don, about the the opponent for AJ Styles tonight for the exhibition title as Desire hits the clothesline, sends Trinity out to the floor. You have, you have any guess after seeing that video? I'm, I'm, what did it say? See you in the future? See you in the future. I, I don't know what that. Obviously, somebody's somebody's coming in the in the years to come, but. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I, I'm confused, but you it. see right there, Trinity comes over here and gets mad at us. Don't get mad at us. Desire's the one that put you over the top rope. And I mean, did you see Trinity? She just hung over that top rope. And now oh, the reversal right. of the ring. Back first goes Trinity. And Desire gaining maybe a little bit of payback, a little bit of revenge there by firing her rival, Trinity, back first into the steel. You know, I've got a thought here, Mike. In, in, in a battle like this, I feel like Desire has the advantage. Trinity is so good and her in-ring ability, we've seen her, she's a stunt woman, she can do flips, she can do all kinds of things. But Desire has a little bit of size on her, and, and Desire seems to me to be more of a brawler every time she's come in. But right now, Trinity already trying to get her on the stretcher. Yeah, gonna try and position her on the gurney, on the stretcher. And you see the black shirt security are here too. They're here not only to take the stretcher out, but also to position the wrestler on the stretcher as Trinity. Check this out. Look at it. Like I said, this is all about just a brawl. Desire's not going to have anything of it as she starts coming back with blows of her own as Trinity tries to kick her off. Oh, good kick there by Desire. Now she's got control of Trinity. Gonna try right, on the, oh, man. right on the ramp. Right on the ramp, Mike. You know, the, just, just Desire's ability to return to the ring shows such perseverance, but she is really taking this ladies' stretcher match to another level in terms of her wrestling ability here, and you notice that she's trying to injure the back of Trinity. Wow! She's just, I'm gonna tell you something, Desire's not holding back at all. You cannot see any, any inclination of any back injury whatsoever. I think this is her statement to Trinity. <laughs> My back is 100%, and if you want it, come uh -oh. and get it. Uh-oh, Trinity underneath the ring comes out with a chair. I'll tell you what, Desire barely got her hands up to deflect that. Well, that could have been absolutely brutal. It just catches her in the side of the head. Big opportunity here for Trinity to take the next step. Get Desire positioned on that stretcher as we see her. Yeah, what was it? Yeah, of course it was. It was for Desire. Somebody had a sign for Desire, and Trinity pretty much 
showed the uh, fan what her thoughts were on that. Better stay concentrated on your opponent here, Trinity. Do not worry about the fans and their signs at ringside. I'll tell you what, she may be small in stature, but she's got strength. Oh, look at her pulling. Pulling, the, pull, pulling Desire's head right into the steel steps. You know, I see a move like that, Don, and I, I, I... You know what? I think that's exactly what that was. We've seen that move from Sunny Siaki in the past. And it was almost as if Trinity tried to use Siaki's move against Siaki's girlfriend, Desire. Well, you saw her right there put her back up against the rail, and now Trinity's going up top. and you can see her writhing in pain. That's what happens when you commit to a high-risk move like that. You always run that possibility of the crash and burn, and that's what happened to Trinity. Now they're going to try and get her positioned on the stretcher. Black shirt security, that's their job for this match. Put the wrestler on the stretcher and then head back towards the ambulance. Zaya right now has the advantage. She's got her. She's going to try to wheel her away right now. Try to end this in a hurry, but oh! She decides to exact a little bit more punishment as she runs her right into the steel rail. And you see her Trinity just slapped to the ground. And then she just pulls the stretcher right out of the way and Trinity oh, oh, man. put her head right into the rail. Oh, man, Desire showing us the sight of her. Oh, she is in total control right now. This is all about the frustration that Desire has felt since she's come back. Trinity has made her feel as unwelcome as you can make someone feel and done nothing but try to injure her and put her out of commission. This is her payback right now, Mike. And boy, she's getting it. And notice again that her offensive attack is directed at the lower back of Trinity. Almost like an eye for an eye here, Don. Oh, absolutely. I don't blame her right there. Nice kick into the gut by Desire. But Trinity coming right back makes like a football tackle right there. Like I said, this isn't your typical cat fight. Never Hardly. Has been between these two. Really not from the start. And for weeks we've seen them brawl all over the TNA Asylum. Finally coming to a head here in this first ever ladies stretcher match. As you see the stretcher coming into play again. Ooh, oh, man. man. Oh, Trinity God. just takes a stretcher and just slams it into Desire. They just used it like a battering ram that time as she jammed that stretcher directly into the midsection of Ooh. Desire and takes her around the corner. Right into the bleachers. Just slams her right first. into the bleachers. He's first right into the bleacher seats. Oh, you can see Desire's in pain. Wait a minute. Instead of working on her back here lately, Trinity's been working directly on her head. And now she's setting up a table. Now, we've seen this also from Trinity in recent weeks, but she tried to position Desire on that table. And obviously, she's going to try and do it again, try and re-injure. She's got the table set up. Blackshirt security, they're going to try and position Desire on the stretcher, but I'm not sure whether Trinity's going to allow that. As you can see, Desire, she realizes when the security pick her up that you're in a, in a bad predicament right here. Is Trinity motioning. To bring her on out. Wait a minute, she's saying, no, don't bring her out here. That's right, she's, she's telling the black shirts to put on the brakes. Don't take, I mean, that's the way you win the match, by taking your opponent out to the ambulance and, uh-oh. Uh, Desire is just, she's lost it here right now. You know, she realizes she's on the table. I think she may even think she's on the stretcher. Trinity, she just pushed Desire right off the stretcher, right onto the table, and... Where she headed? Oh no! You've got to be kidding! This could absolutely end it for Desire. We've seen her do Daredevil stunts before, but this will be the biggest one she's ever done. Trinity from the from the top staircase oh, of the balcony. No oh, but Desire gets just out of the way in time. Fortunately for Desire, she was able to move out of the path of Trinity coming from the balcony with the leg drop. Trinity took just a little too much time there, Mike. She wanted to she wanted to soak in the crowd. She wanted the crowd to see exactly what she was gonna do. And now this could be a it. very limp Trinity is being put on the stretcher right here. Looks like we are on the verge of a desire victory. Oh, Trinity's out cold there. We, Look at that's that. right. Wheel her out the back door, put her in the ambulance, and close the ambulance door, and desire gets the win. And here they go. Right outside of the asylum. Black shirt security rolling that stretcher towards the ambulance. They got the ambulance there. They just need to put her in the back, close the door, and Desire gets the win. And she's trying to get the door open. She's having trouble. Wait a minute, who's that? Wait a minute, that's Big Vito. Big Vito, and he made sure the door caught hey, who you Desire right in the face. You're nobody. Remember what? that. That's understand. 
You haven't seen Big Vito in job. years. I, got a couple I mean, Big Vito's from Staten to Island, New York. I, I, I got to make an assumption here, maybe ask it as a question. I wonder if he's aligned with the with the NYC. I mean, his, his timing of this move, it would be a natural association. Well, well I don't know if he's aligned with the NYC, but it's obviously he's using his New York roots to, to come to the aid of Trinity. Oh, man, Trinity had it stacked yeah, right there. I mean, think of the situation, Don. That was a, a heavy steel door that Vito opened up right into the face of desire. what took you so long? Think this about it. Trinity knew she this had it one all the way. All she had to do was to the nothing. ambulance. Remember, Either way, if she had me. desire hey, on let's it, go she get her on in. here, huh? I'm going to give you a cut and pay. How about it? $3 an hour. You guys are no good. You must be from Hoboken. Let's go, fellas. How money? Let's go. On the double. We got family business to take care of. What do you think? We're playing games here. Let's go. Just throw her in there already. Desire being put into the ambulance once the door shut. Trinity Move out of the way. will get the win. Move out of the way. Close the door. Oh, Desire, obviously. She's got to wonder. Oh, because of Big Vito. Yes. What went wrong? She had it wrong. But Big Vito proves the difference. Trinity had it set up all the way. Trinity ends up winning the first ever stretcher match for the ladies. Let's go to Hudson with Vince Russo.